Hello everyone. So I want to go over the ultimate email marketing funnel for you. When you're building out your email campaigns, I want you to have several products and services that you offer and you structure it based on where you're taking the prospect in your funnel. So typically what you would do is you would start with a low cost item at the very top of the funnel. If somebody's just getting introduced to you, the best approach is to introduce them to a low cost item. So let's start off by looking at this series of products that you're going to offer in order to nurture your prospects to buy from you and to continue to buy from you down the road. The first piece is to give a guide or a checklist or a toolkit or some helpful email series and they can receive this free with their email. You want to give a high value free item right off the bat in order to capture someone's email. That's really critical to building your list is to be giving tons of free value up front. So figure out what that item is that would really entice people to, to jump on you in your niche. And figuring out what that free item is is really going to determine how quickly you can grow your email list. Once you've captured that email, you'll want to move the prospect down into products that they can buy from you. So once you've built that trust, you introduce an ebook or an entry level product that can be anywhere from 99 cents to 999 in terms of the price that they would need to pay. And again, you'll want to continue to add value with this product, but um, don't, don't stress in terms of, you know, the size of the ebook. You could sell a 30 page ebook for $2.99 on Amazon Kindle publishing, and you can have that selling for, for the rest of your life. It can be completely passive income and it's, something that can generate value for your business. So maybe you're an artist where you can write a 20 to 30 page ebook on how to, how to paint with, you know, a canvas print that's blank or what have you. Again, it really depends on what your niche is. I'm, I'm just kind of throwing that out there. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, you can create an ebook that provides some value and 20 to 30 pages shouldn't take you more than uh, a week or two to, to create. You sit down and really work on that. But that's, that's your first piece in terms of perhaps generating revenue for your business. The next piece is your course. So if you're knowledgeable about something, you should be creating material just like I'm doing with the MailChimp Marketing Mastery course here. Well, like I'm creating value and I figure I'd package this into a course based on what I know and what I've done over the years. This is what you can do as well based on your expertise in a specific area. And maybe you're not sure what to create. Well, just think about what you know to start and maybe start with a low, low price value at 49. And then the more you add to the course package, the higher the price can go. Like you can increase the the price of the course as you're adding more value to it. You can always tweak the course. And if you want to create a course, you can start with a course builder like udemy.com or you could do Coursera. There's Teachable, like there's several course builder platforms out there which you can just Google and find and figure out which one's right for you. And that, that way you can um, get your course out there much easier. You can also have it running online like maybe you have youtube videos and you can have like a private link and you know if you pay 49 dollars, you get the link to watch the courses so there's quite a few options there and think about it if you sell you know 149 dollar courses i mean that's you know five grand in your pocket and it doesn't take much to to really do that if you put some marketing behind it and again, if you're building your email list and continuing to give away free content up front, then you can nurture people down to your course material. The next piece to down into the funnel is the coaching. So your time is valuable. And this is why I consider 
coaching should be a little bit higher in value as well. So I said 299 to 499 because I really do think that you need to value your time and um, you want to kind of get away from coaching. But if you do find people that need consulting or coaching, then, you know, maybe find something that you're really an expert in and then charge a higher amount. And maybe it's 299 for an hour or maybe it's for 10 hours. I, I really don't know how it would work for you, but you do want to kind of minimize how many clients you're, you're capturing for coaching because I feel like your time is better spent building up your list, selling your products, growing your email list and continuing to add value in other ways. Because coaching is very, it's low reach, right? You can only handle so many coaching clients. So you'll want to actually consider, you know, maybe cutting that down because you can really only handle so many, but it's, it's another revenue stream, right? If you're getting going and maybe coaching clients is a good way to get started. And the next piece is the program or seminar, you know, for $2,000, like for instance, if you can charge, you know, maybe one ninety nine, and then you get 10 people in a room, you know, that's $2,000. So you could set that up and you could be doing that weekly, really. And you have a seminar and charge, you know, 200 for this seminar and coach people on, on your niche, you know, like it's, this is the next high value item that you can sell people on. Again, this takes up your time though. What I like about eBooks and courses in terms of the, um, the value is that it's not taking away your time. So it's income that you can generate without having yourself in a room. But again, if you're looking for the, the value spectrum and moving people down the funnel, that's the way to do it. The next piece is a premium service. And depending on what you offer, like maybe it's a, it's a rare product that you have, I mean, you can have a high price tag on that and then eventually move people down to this, this service or product at the end here. And, um, you know, again, this could be a, a high value program or seminar. Maybe it's a conference that you're, you're hosting. It's a large conference. Like it really depends on what it is you're trying to, to build here. Or maybe it is a premium service, like a VIP service that you're offering to enterprise clients. Like maybe if you're in web design, well, this could be your $5,000 product. And uh, if you're into marketing and whatnot, maybe you can even increase this to $9,000 and it could be maybe a monthly thing. Again, the sky is the limit, but I want to give you ideas of, you know, different um, pieces that you can kind of coach people down into, right? You can really build out your revenue streams so that when you capture an email, you can nurture that individual to, to continually buy from you as you're releasing new content. And I would really consider that you, once you have the free with email item, like you've created that, really consider building out premium service and then consider building out program seminar, consider building out coaching course, like continually work on this. Um, and, and try to, you know, really put some time and effort into creating these, these funnel levels that you've got there. So that's it. Uh, that's it for the email marketing funnel. If you're looking to build a nurture campaign, ideally that's what you're doing is taking people down the funnel to purchase more and more from you. So definitely try to implement that into your email marketing campaigns. I think you'll find a little bit more value in terms of sales conversions and results.